Hey, it's Dr. Amanda with Straight Smile Solutions, straightsmilesolutions.com. And today I want to talk about bonding either attachments or buttons to a crown tooth in in design or really any type of aligners. Tricks, tips, should you do it, should you not do it? So let's first of all talk about should you do it? Well, if it's a relatively easy case, like a simple class one, mild to moderate crowding spacing, you should be able to bypass that tooth. So when you submit the case, you wanna make sure you block off any buttons or attachments being put on that tooth, because it shouldn't be a problem. Because theoretically, if it's a simple case, you don't even need attachments, they're just on there to expedite things, make them more efficient, et cetera. Now, if it's a much more difficult case, severe crowding and or has AP or transverse issues, vertical issues, you might need a, either a button for elastics or an attachment on that crown tooth. This is where it gets a little more complicated. If you don't think that you can do it without, and I hesitate because if you tell the treatment planners to do it without, they'll just come up with like a wing it treatment plan without it, but that doesn't mean it's possible. So you really have to run this by an orthodontist who's seen it, done it. They can really tell you if it's gonna be predictable without. Sometimes it is necessary to bond either an attachment, you know, like a handle to help to derotate a crooked tooth or help to extrude a tooth that need extrusion to a crown um, if it's a difficult movement. And sometimes you need a button. Buttons are different than attachments. Buttons are something that is put on externally. It's prefab. It has a cutout in the aligner and it's glued to the actual tooth. So it's not part of the aligner, it's not captured by the aligner, it's not under the aligner. There's a window in the attachment template and you will, the doctor will bond a button and you'll bond an elastic to it. So you hook an elastic to the button. So let's say for example, so this is say number 30, right? Or lower right six. Oh, lower right seven, because that's lower right six, that's lower right eight. So this has a crown this has a crown right so this is a crown a crown is like a shell or a hat a protective cover that you put on a tooth that either has had a big cavity or has had a root canal right or like had a fracture or something to try to make it whole again here's the natural tooth here's the shell okay crowns can be made out of generally three different things number one is going to be porcelain or some type of porcelain or ceramic number two is going to be gold and number three is going to be some type of tin can garbage can tin shell stainless steel Stainless steel alloy is a temporary, it's not a permanent. So I would not recommend doing any type of aligners or ortho with a stainless steel on, unless you're doing braces and you could always do a, a band over the stainless steel. Same thing with gold, you can do a band, a fitted band over the gold, but you can't bond to metal, okay? Not possible. Can't glue anything to bond to metal. Um, the only thing you could do is like literally drill a hole in the, in the crown and, and glue the bug tooth in there, but then cavity and leakage might get in there. So most likely you're not gonna do that. If it is a porcelain, it really depends on what type of porcelain it is. And most likely you're not gonna know until you go in there and try to bond to it. From my experience, the nicer, the shinier, the prettier the crown, the less it bonds. <laughs> so, which kind of stinks, right? So if it's a junky porcelain old um, crown, usually it bonds pretty well. Um, if it's a really shiny, beautiful, glazed new crown, um, zirconia, something like that, nope, it doesn't bond well. So sometimes you have to drill a hole in it, break the glaze. You, they do make kits, and the best possible kit that I've used is used by, is caused, caused by, it's made by a company called Reliance. Reliance, like to rely, Reliance. Um, all they do, Reliance Orthodontics only does orthodontics, and they have the best adhesive products and they have a really good kit. I have a different video on that kit. Um, if you message me, I can send it to you. If not, you can go into my YouTube and just look up um, porcelain bonding kit or porcelain and it'll show up. But um, they have really good how-to videos, step-by-step -step guides. I think their kit's like 100 or $200, <clears throat> excuse me, but it's gonna last for many patients um, and it is the best kit. If you can't get it to stick with that kit, then you're gonna to have to damage the crown. That's your two options or change the treatment plan. So that's your three options. So these are things, if your patient has a lot of crowns and it has a really hard case, you're gonna to wanna to have that conversation before you even start treatment. I recommend grabbing a written disclaimer that just basically says, hey, look, we're gonna probably have to damage a few of your crowns in order to get these brackets to stick. If we damage them, it's not gonna be covered by insurance. It's just additional part of treatment and you're gonna to have to pay to replace them at an additional expense later after treatment, you know? 
it's just how it is. So, you know, it's the benefit of having natural teeth in ortho. So grab that signature because if you do not, when you get to the end of the treatment, guess who's paying for the crowns? The doctor's paying for the crowns if the doctor damaged them and didn't grab the release from the patient. So just a little suggestion. Anyways, that's pretty much it. All right, hopefully that was helpful, thanks.